Hi, I'm Ian Elliott and I'm co-founder of Elliott Brown. Uh, I'm Alex Brown and I'm also co-founder of Elliott Brown. The main USP is how durable they are. So we, we were lucky that we have a lot of experience from a previous life in, in, a, in another business where we learned how to make watches that could withstand all sorts of harsh environments like salt water and sand and mud and snow. So we built into them some unique shock proofing and waterproofing features that just make them really, really durable and, and, and fit for purpose and can, can stand up to environments that other watches would quickly fail in. It was about taking everything that we'd learned in previous jobs and designing something that we were proud of and pleased with that was fit for purpose that that people would hopefully be proud to wear and enjoy enjoy wearing over many years in terms of education i think it's i think it's more about a state of mind than formal qualifications more than anything else i think if you love what you do and take pride in your work I think that's a huge I think that's a huge help. I think understanding the difference between determination and stubbornness is important. I think it's important to just always being open to things and not not going well I don't know how to do that and the, everything comes to a stop. Just being okay, I don't know how to do that right now, but by the end of the day, by the end of the week, I will know how to do it because because we have to and I think being open to that that kind of that change in your working day is really important. I reckon I was about four and I nicked my sister's tricycle and I pointed it down a really steep hill in the woods behind the house and I got hooked on adrenaline and my life kind of was, was uh, determined by that love of adrenaline. I didn't really understand what it was at the time but I went through life so when I thought, saw my first skateboard I had to have it, when I saw my first mountain bike I had to have it, I made a snowboard at school and I just, I felt like a square peg in a round hole at school but I just did what I loved and I went to college to study engineering and I did what I loved there which basically meant surfing, windsurfing and mountain biking and I left and set up a business um, uh, to do what I loved. Do what you love every time, no question, because that'll, that'll keep you going. It's very tough. You've got to have an ability to think about everything. It's like a recipe. If, you, if you've got a, an amazing recipe for, a, I don't know, even something simple like a loaf of bread, if you miss the salt out, it'll taste rubbish. And, and a business is a bit like that. You've just got to think of all of the things that you're going to need to achieve. And it's not just about raising money and spending it. It's about who's going to buy it and why are they going to buy it and how many are they going to buy. And you've got to have an, a, a kind of a, an appetite to learn something new every day. And, and if you like that, it's fantastic. It doesn't feel like work. I think if you're frightened of hard work, it's not for you because it's, it's not easy. There's a lot of things to keep an eye on. There's a lot to learn about. But if, you're, if you like being stimulated, if you like being challenged, if you like being able to sit back at the end of the week and going, you know what, we did that, we made that happen. If that's, if that's a, something that you find rewarding, then absolutely working for yourself is, is amazing. Seeing a watch being worn that we've made, there's nothing, there's nothing like it. Honestly, there's nothing like it. It's not, about, it's not about the money, it's not about any of that. It's just someone else is getting pleasure out of something that we've created and that is the best feeling in the yeah, world. Yeah, that's a nice way of putting it.